Can I use my Boya Lavalier mic for Zoom video conferencing? On my desktop PC, yes. On my laptop PC, yes, with the right setup. And on my phone, no. In this video, I'm going to explain why. The reason why you have to be mindful when you're connecting a microphone is that microphones and headsets have two different types of connectors, but they look very similar. A traditional 3.5 millimeter microphone connector looks like this. It has these two bands and if it has been designed to be used with a PC, the connector is often pink and then the microphone input on a traditional sound card has a pink color as well. For headphones, the connector is physically exactly the same. It also has these two bands. If it's designed to be used with a PC, the connector is often this light green color and then the sound output on the sound card also has the same light green color. If you're connecting to a traditional PC, you will have audio in via the pink connections and audio out via the light green connections. If you want to connect your microphone to a digital camera, this is the kind of connector you need, the one with the two bands as well. And you can see an example of the pink connector here on my camcorder. Now let's move over to phone headset connector. A headset connector looks like this. It has three bands instead of two. It's been designed to have both audio in and audio out on the same connector. The Boya Lavalier mic has this headset connector. You can see here that it has three bands instead of two. But the Boya mic also has this switch, which allows me to switch between headset mode and what they call camera mode. And what that camera mode is, is the traditional microphone input. And that means that I can use this either in a headset jack or in a microphone jack by just flicking the switch. This exact model is the Boya BYM1 lavalier mic and I have a link to it in the description below this video. Have a look there if you want to find out more about features, availability and pricing. Typically this Boya mic sells for under $20 and that's a real bargain for such a high quality microphone. Now let's talk about how we connect this Boya mic to the desktop PC, to the laptop PC and to the phone. And we're going to start with the desktop PC. When I connect the microphone to my desktop PC, I'm going to use the pink microphone input jack. And I'm going to have the switch in the camera mode, which means that the microphone is working as a traditional 3.5 millimeter microphone. On the PC, I have a separate jack for the headphones and that means that for my sound out, I can have any device that I want. For example, it could be some headphones or it could also be the speaker system in my PC. And this makes it very easy when you're connecting something to a desktop PC because you have physically separate inputs and outputs. When I go into Zoom to configure these devices, I can choose completely separate devices for my sound out and my sound in. In this example, I have the microphone as my sound in and I have my speaker system as my sound out. The desktop PC is the easy part of this video. Now we're going to move over to something a little bit harder and that is how we connect the Boya mic to a laptop PC. The reason why the laptop PC is a little bit more difficult is because mine does not have separate microphone and headphone jacks. Rather, it has this single integrated headset jack instead. The reason why this is a more challenging situation is that when I connect the microphone into this headset jack, the system is going to switch off the speakers. Why? Because this is a headset jack, it expects that this one connector is going to handle both audio input and output. So it's trying to send the audio out into this connector, but there is no speaker on this device. There's only a microphone. But there is a simple solution, and that is to use a Bluetooth speaker instead. When you have a Bluetooth speaker connected, you can choose that as a separate output device. And then you will have microphone in via the traditional sound card and your sound out is going to be via the Bluetooth speaker. 
You can see here in the zoom settings that I can choose different outputs and input devices because I have that Bluetooth speaker connected as a separate sound out device. And this is actually the setup that I use when I run hybrid meetings. So these are meetings where you have people physically in a room together and you have other people joining online via video conferencing. And we need to make sure that we're picking up the sound from the room. And for this, I have traditionally used this microphone. And then we have a Bluetooth speaker to ensure that the people in the room can hear the online portion. And whichever system you have for setting up a separate sound device is probably going to work. That second sound out device, for example, could be the speaker in your projector or on your TV. So long as you have more than one input and output device on your laptop, you're going to be able to use the Boya mic for your video conferencing. Now let's see if we can use the Boya mic for Zoom video conferencing on my smartphone. And the answer is no. On my phone, I cannot choose different input and output devices in the Zoom app, which worked very nicely on the desktop app, but on the mobile app, it just doesn't work. And what that means is that if I have my Boya mic connected as a microphone, the phone is going to think that it's a headset and try to send the sound out via the same connector, and it isn't going to work. Now, of course, I could have a Bluetooth speaker connected to my phone, but the problem is that I cannot select that Bluetooth speaker as an output because those options do not exist in the Zoom app on the phone. I'm going to jump over to a bonus tip in just a moment, but hey, if you've been getting some value from this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more communication tips. Just click the big red subscribe button. I post a new video every Thursday on this channel and they're always about helping you engage better with your audience. And here's that bonus tip for you. The cool thing about this microphone is that when I have it connected to a headset jack like I had on my laptop, I can leave it in the off position so it doesn't consume the battery at all. This is a really nice feature of this Boya mic. Like I said, I have a link to it in the description below this video. If you want to improve the audio quality in all your Zoom meetings, click or tap the video on the screen now. It's my step-by-step -step guide on how to get the best possible audio in all your Zoom meetings. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.